Hello, you buzz and girls. My name is Otis and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, last time we left off with uh, this half finished project, which we will not finish today. No, 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 because we figured uh, we are missing materials so we can produce uh, more thermium and basically all the metal parts in this part are made of thermium they could probably also be made of uh, niobium which has a high enough melting point for most parts but um, niobium for one tile we need 100 kilograms and uh, getting that from outer space that's just not gonna work so we will stick to thermium but the problem there is for thermium we need for 100 kilogram thermium we need five kilogram niobium that's okay but we also need 95 kilograms of tungsten. Tungsten is refined from wolframite. And as you can see, we have neither. So, therefore, last time I decided, let's look if we can find this somewhere here in outer space. And if we go fast out we can find this body here which will deliver quite good amounts however not with the rocket that we have um so i consulted an online calculator to figure out uh how much fuel we will need um uh, in contrast to uh, the cargo that we want to bring back and it turns out we are almost there yet we need three liquid fuel tanks for hydrogen uh, if we uh, uh, sacrifice one cargo bay because cargo bay that's the thing that's that's really heavy and uh, drags uh, things down. So, first things first, I think I want to put in the pipes and we will replace this cargo bay with another fuel tank but let's put in the pipes first because i'm not sure if i have enough insulated insulation for the pipes and if uh, we don't have enough then we still need our rocket or potentially need our rocket in order to get more eyes of resin but I think we do have a bit eyes of resin left uh, we do have four more than four tons of insulation ready and usually when it comes to insulation at the crunch is not the eyes of resin but rather the reed fiber uh, of which we have more than 2000 units um, so we can still build a bit of uh, insulation should we need it but let's finish the piping first once all that is done we can switch out this cargo bay with another fuel tank that gives us three fuel tanks we leave the two research modules on there because they do not really make make a, a big difference 
So I looked up if we would have no research modules, we would still need 1920 kilograms of fuel. And with the two research modules, it's 2003, so roughly uh, 100 kilograms of fuel more. So that's not the, the big fish uh, that makes us fail. But let's finish up the piping and then we will see how to proceed. It looks like uh, we can place all the insulated pipes with insulation. We still have a bit left over. So now we can deconstruct this one. And the only drawback that we have here is that we have here a bridge. So potentially that will break when the rocket will start or launch. Um, but if that's all there that we have to, uh, to uh, consent with, should not be too bad. Now let's put in this uh, third fuel tank. So we have three fuel tanks for uh, liquid hydrogen and one for the liquid oxygen. So here we have to set it to 2003 as I mentioned and then we will have these tanks only can take 900. So we will have two tanks that are completely filled uh, and that brings us up to 1800 kilograms which means here on the third one we just need 203 and hopefully calculations are correct so let's start pumping then and this will drain considerably our hydrogen reserves um, which we will have to replenish and um, I did not pay too much attention uh, this cooling loop was quite cold we were cooling this setup and now we have a bit of ice in here but as you can see it's already melting here at this point that's probably where it's uh, warmest there it's close to uh, to zero degree and uh, once we get a, a bit of space up here then probably the steam of wind can erupt again and produce steam which should also help with uh, melting all the rest then here on this side closed this off and uh, at the end of the last episode we put in this uh, rail and I am considering that maybe we want to switch that out to rail built with thermium um, once we have it because while it is all in the insulated part can still get warm and uh, basically we do not want to go back in here to repair things uh, because even if it's possible it's it's quite a hassle so we once again got something out of here nutrient bars uh, yes we'll take those 
because I think uh, we will feed those to uh, to our hatches. Um, yeah, we have muckroot in here. We have sedimentary rock in here, of which we do not have too much anymore. Oh. Nutrient bars we have not checked. But yes, so low grade food we can uh, feed to, uh, to our uh, hatches, um, which will help us out because uh, the, the rocks that they eat are not that plentiful anymore. Here on this side, we also closed everything off. So, at least in theory, we could start pumping out uh, the gas in here. Uh, however, eventually, uh, we will look into uh, a setup how we can connect. Uh, this power grid to the main grid because as you can see we have separate grid up here and then one down there and that's because uh, if everything is running we are producing more power than this wire can carry which I believe is not a problem that the uh, wire only breaks if we have more consumers uh, on there or consumers for more than 50 kilowatt on there uh, but there is a, a nice little setup that we can place uh, so that uh, we get constant output uh, from from these uh, these machines these generators and high with, with that much power I really am not that fast about wasting any because we will we will have enough so okay looks like um, we are good and let's see can we get oh we can get even to there um, where we could get uh, gassy boos and uh, other weird stuff but here is where we want to go so let's break open the bunker door Fix that hole in with spunker tile. Um, switch here all the wires and then let's check. Yes, we have the right thing collected we will start and it will take for 32 or 33 cycles until our rocket returns so yeah so i guess in the meantime we will just replenish our uh, our uh, uh, hydrogen in here and the bridge survived at least the, the start of the rocket we will see if we are also as lucky when the rocket returns uh, but seeing that until we get those materials there is not too much that we can do 
aside, keeping the base alive. Uh, let's skip ahead and see what we get back in return. Our rocket is expected back any moment now. And then we will see how much material we get uh, from Tungsten and Wolframite. And I think uh, we can convert Wolframite one to one to uh, Tungsten. So if we add up these two uh, materials, then we know roughly how much thermium we can produce, assuming uh, we have enough niobium. Uh, however, I think I will then most likely send the rocket out once more. And there she is. So... What have we got? A robot arm. Very nice. Uh, okay, our bridge survived. So let's fill back up. We can close the, the doors for now. Then once everything is unloaded, we have quite a bit of tungsten uh, and even more wolframite uh, that will not reach far because for hundred kilograms of thermium we need 95 kilograms of tungsten so mm, I guess we will have to make a few trips uh, out there uh, in order um, to get uh, what we need But yeah, so that's basically the life for now and hopefully in the next episode we can manage some more progress here on this side. As you can see I prepared a liquid gate for this side as well because even if we are pump out the gas here we still need to go in uh, to complete the build because here on this level we have a complete separation um, otherwise we would not be able to uh, vacuum out this part over here but yeah so let's fill up the rocket again and then we shall see Yeah, let's send the rocket off uh, before closing this episode. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, rocket upgrade. And uh, also join next time. Uh, there you can see we also get uh, uh, iso resin from back there so all good all good um, and uh, let's just send it on its way and then 33 years later it will be back right so until then goodbye